Hi, this is Jason from Atsanic. In this video, we'll look at a couple of options to install the Google Camera app, or GCam, on your Android phone where Google Play Services has been removed. There are two ways to remove Play Services. So the first is where you retain your stock operating system, and then use a script to disable or delete Play Services. The second option is where your device has a custom Android operating system installed. Examples of those are Lineage OS, Calyx OS, and Graphene OS. So why would you want to remove Play Services and de-Google your phone? So it's mainly to limit or completely prevent the large amounts of data collection, sharing, and personal profiling by big tech companies and other third parties about you and your activities on your phone. So in one word, privacy. So it's important to note that the procedures listed in this video only really work if you have Camera 2.0 API installed on your phone. So I have a link in the show notes that will show you how you can determine whether your particular phone has Camera 2.0 API. If you're interested in purchasing a privacy and security focused phone, Atsanic.com offers a selection of Pixel devices with Calyx OS or Graphene OS installed. So here's an outline of the topics in the video. So while many manufacturers have camera apps that produce excellent quality images, one highly regarded app that can be used on many devices, regardless of manufacture, is Gcam. So considering this, you're going to fall into one of two situations. The first is you have a Google Pixel with no play services and you want to install Gcam. The second is you have a non-Pixel device, such as a Samsung or a Motorola, also with no play services, and you want to install Gcam. Over the past decade, camera sensor size and megapixel count have increased, but the lenses that help capture photos have remained fundamentally unchanged. The physical components of smartphone cameras have essentially matured to the point that they can no longer be improved using current technology. So in order to improve image quality, manufacturers have done two things. The first is they've offered more camera lenses, such as telephoto, macro, or wide-angle. So obviously you can't change this unless you buy another device that has those additional lenses. The second is they've improved the computational photography software. What that means is manufacturers have been refining camera apps so they produce better images. So after the picture is taken, it's digitally analyzed and parameters like brightness, contrast, sharpness, noise and color are improved and enhanced. So this is something you can change easily for your existing device and it's the topic of this guide. So, no play services on your device also means there's no Micro-G installed. As an FYI, Micro-G spoofs some elements of play services and anonymizes almost all the data it collects. If you have Micro-G installed on your device, you are one step ahead of the game and I'll explain why later on. Now the problem is with no play services or Micro-G, if you try to install Gcam, it just won't work. At least it won't work without a little help. So this particular device has Graphene OS with no play services. When I open the stock camera that came with Graphene OS, it works fine. But when I open Gcam, it does nothing and just hangs. So to get it to work, the first thing I have to do is download and install Gcam Minimal Services. So this app simulates play services and allows Gcam to be used on devices without play services. It doesn't have an icon in the app drawer, but it's listed in Android settings, so if you ever want to remove it. It doesn't need any security compromising hacks, permissions, internet access, storage access, or root access to work. So be sure to save this file to your computer, as we'll transfer it later. If you do have Micro-G installed, then you don't need to install Gcam Minimal Services, and it'll likely give you an error if you even try. Now I've switched to a device with the stock Pixel operating system and Gcam pre-installed as a part of that. First thing I'll do is extract and save Gcam by using App Extractor. You can download it from Aurora Store or the Play Store, and there's a link in the show notes to it and a similar app that you can download from FDroid. Extracting the Gcam installation APK file is probably the most secure way to do this process, as you won't be downloading a similar file via a second party website. Plus the camera will be guaranteed to work with your particular model of phone. So save this file to your computer as you're going to transfer it later to your phone. Another way of finding a Gcam APK file is to find one on the website APK Mirror 
or a stable version from the Google Camera Hub website. Those are linked to in the show notes below. Now I've transferred these files from my computer to a device with Graphene OS installed. Remember this is a completely degoogled version of Android and doesn't include any Play services. Now I just need to install each file. First Gcam Minimal Services and second the Gcam app. Okay, now you can see that the camera works and you can modify the settings as you see fit. The last thing you might want to do if your operating system or an app that you've installed on your phone like NetGuard supports it is block Gcam's access to the internet in case Google tries to phone home and share data about your camera activities. In this case I go to settings, apps and notifications, see all apps, I then select the Google camera which has this particular icon and then block background access and then network access. Okay now we'll look at installing Gcam on other phones that aren't Pixel devices. You might think that you can just extract the stock camera app that came with say a Samsung device and then repeat the steps that I mentioned earlier. The problem is that many manufacturers have underlying frameworks built into their versions of Android that allow their proprietary camera apps to work. When you install a custom operating system this will remove that framework and then if you try to install the stock camera app it won't work. Having said that if you really like the stock camera app it's still worthwhile to try to extract it using APK extractor and then try to install it. If it works then that's a bonus. If it doesn't you can follow these steps to install Gcam. It's slightly more complicated but with a little effort it's still worth it. Just like in the previous chapter the first thing is to download and install Gcam minimal services. Again this app simulates play services and allows Gcam to be used on devices without play services installed. It has no icon in the app drawer but it's listed in Android settings if you ever want to remove it. It doesn't need any security compromising hacks, permissions, internet access, storage access or root access. So be sure to save this file to your computer as we'll transfer it later to the phone. If you have MicroG installed then you don't need to do this step and install Gcam minimal services because it'll probably give you an error anyways. Second is to find a Gcam app for your particular phone. You can do this by searching for your device model and Gcam and see what users on XDA forms or Reddit recommend. You might have to do a little bit of digging here so often the suggestions will point you towards a specific camera APK file on the Google Camera Hub website. So that's linked to in the show notes. So for example the phone I'm using now is an LG G6 and it has a normal and a wide angle lens and I want both of those lenses to work. Some Gcam apps have configuration files for specific device models and these tailor the camera to that particular model. To use a configuration file you can download and install it by following the instructions on the Camera Hub website. Now I've transferred the camera APK file to the G6. The phone already has micro G on it so I don't need to install Gcam minimal services. Now I just need to install the camera app. As you can see now the camera works including both the normal lens and the wide angle lens. Just as I mentioned previously the last thing you might want to do if your operating system supports it is block Gcam's access to the internet just in case Google tries to phone home and of course tries to share data about your camera activities. So in this case I'll go to settings, apps and notifications, see all apps, I select Google camera and then I block background access and network access. Well that's it I hope you found this useful. If you have any constructive comments or feedback please post those below and if you're interested in purchasing a Pixel device with Kalex OS or Graphene OS pre-installed please check out at Sanic.com. Thanks for watching.